Hi, I'm Duke Libertori, co-host of Duke and a Doctor. And at the beginning of last year's National Hockey League season, the Chicago Blackhawks trainer put the entire team on a vitamin D supplement program. The end result? The Chicago Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. So in an effort to bring a championship here to Columbus, Georgia, my wife and I go down to the local hockey team, the Columbus Cottonmouths, and put them on not only vitamin D, but a multivitamin and mineral one-a-day daily extra to see if we can bring a championship home here to Columbus, Georgia. Will we be successful? We don't know, but we're anxiously awaiting the outcome. Uh, as, as he said, this is my wife, Dr. McBaron. My name is Duke Libertori. I want to tell you a little bit about us, and then we'll have the doc tell you a little bit about some vitamins and vitamin D and some of the program we're going to be working with you guys on. So, Okay, you know about the Chicago Blackhawks and the vitamin D. You probably heard about that. Um, well, it, it really applies to the Canadians especially. Um, because of the latitude you grow up in, during October to April, you get a whole lot less UVB, and you have to have UVB to make vitamin D. Now, vitamin D depends on, number one, your exposure to the sunlight, specifically UVB rays, so you don't get it in a tanning booth. Secondly, your, so your skin starts to manufacture it, but then it is shuttled to the liver where it changes its molecular configuration and then over to your kidneys. So, and then ultimately the kidney produces the final vitamin D that's the only vitamin D your body can use, which is D3. So you'll see your vitamin D that you get is D3. It's the natural one that most closely resembles, it does close, it is exactly what your body naturally produces. Now, for years, everyone always thought, well, so what? You get in the sun for 15 minutes, you produce enough vitamin D, and you didn't hear much about vitamin D. But the studies really started in the early 1950s when the Germans, who were really big in sports and athlete, athletes, really did performance training and evaluated athletes' vitamin D levels. And what they found is, I don't know if you know about the fast, fast twitch, slow twitch muscle fibers. Well, vitamin D, when it's maintained in optimum levels, greater than 90 millimoles in your blood, you will produce an increased number as well as increased performance of your fast twitch muscle fibers, which are the ones you use in the last period of the game. It's the one when you really are getting oxygen depleted, your lungs can only keep up so much, you're, you're tired, and, and that's when you've lost most of your vitamin D and your, and your fast twitch fibers are really slowing down. So vitamin D since the 1950s has been shown in clinical studies produced in the American Journal of Clinical Medicine and Sports Medicine to absolutely increase. And they did it with muscle biopsies, so this is not hocus pocus. They know clearly that it does work at a true muscular level to improve your performance and stamina and endurance. The other thing it does, which may not interest you because you're all such a young crowd, is it does reduce the likelihood of your having acute as well as chronic illnesses. Vitamin D has been associated with less prostate problems, with greater libido, with less cancer, uh, less headaches, uh, greater hydration levels. So there's many therapeutic benefits to it, but we're bringing it to you today because we want you to have th that stamina in and improve your performance and stay in there longer. Go, go. Well, definitely success there as the Cottonmouths defeat the Mississippi Surge. Is it the vitamin D? Well, it's too early to tell, but we plan on following the Cottonmouths throughout the season. And if you're ever in Columbus, Georgia, we invite you to come on down and root them on with Duke and the Doctor as we support our team on to victory and hopefully a championship right here in Columbus, Georgia. Thanks for watching.